Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with the SharePoint online tutorial series and in this video we will learn about sharing in SharePoint and how we can implement securities in the SharePoint online. So let's start from the admin center you can go to policies and then the sharing. Now the security in SharePoint online for SharePoint and OneDrive is very similar. Like suppose if you want to, this is the by default most permissive and this is the least permissive. So if you decrease the permission levels of SharePoint, OneDrive permission level will automatically be reduced, but the vice versa is not true. So if you reduce the permission of SharePoint, you can see the OneDrive permissions are also getting reduced. But if you have the most permissions in the SharePoint, OneDrive still you can control. So the vice versa is not true. It is because OneDrive is internally implementing the SharePoint only. So that's why this is happening. So if you re reduce the SharePoint permissions, OneDrive permissions will automatically be reduced. What are the permissions level? Anyone, users can share files and folders using the links that don't require signing. So this is kind of anonymous and this is the most permissive and only people in your organization, no external sharing. This is the least permissive. So this way you can manage your uh, SharePoint and OneDrive. You have two admin centers here also, OneDrive admin center and SharePoint admin center. Uh, I am currently at the SharePoint Admin Center. I will explore the uh, OneDrive Admin Center also. So before that, let's see this. So this is how you can manage new and existing guests. Guests must sign in to provide the verification code. Existing guests only guests already in the organization's directory. So only in the organization's directory users can access. So this is there. If you scroll down, there are more external sharing settings. So from here, limit external sharing by domain. So if you click on that, if you want any specific domains, uh, if you want to allow only specific domains, you can click on this and then you can add the domains which you will allow for the sharing. So allow specific domains or you can block this specific domain. So in this way, you can uh, you can control the sharing then allow only users in a specific security group to share externally now if you have you have made a security group any and then uh, you want only that person to allow to the external sharing you can mention that as well and then based on that you can uh, manage allow only specific users in the security group to share externally so it's very self explanatory guest must sign in in using the same account to which uh, sharing invitation is sent. Now, if you have sent the sharing invitation, he or she user should sign in with the same account. So, if you can check in this. Now, by default, uh, this is checked, meaning allow guests to share items. They don't even if the user is not the owner of that of that item, but still he can share. So, if you don't want it, you can uncheck it. Then it will be disabled. By by default, it's enabled. Now, this is for external sharing settings. Now you have the files and folder settings also which you have shared externally. Choose the type of link that selected by default when the user shares file folders in SharePoint or OneDrive. So specific people, only the people to a specific, only people in your organization. So if you want the documents to be shared only in your organization, you can uh, check this or anyone with the links. So anyone with the links, if you want that settings, you can check with us. So these are the settings choose the permission that selected by default for the sharing link. So you want view or edit. So if you want view, you can make it view by default. If you have shared, uh, so what should be the exercise? So it should be view. So view or edit. So view, so you can make it view or edit. Uh, choose expiry, expiration and the permissions option for anyone's link. So if you have shared a link, so what should be the time period after which the link should expire? So that you can mention here. The link must expire in 10 days, 5 days, whatever. So if you have given access to a document to somebody and you want that after 3 days, that work should be done. And after after that, uh, that many days, the link should expire. So you can mention that as well. The link, and then you can give the permissions to that link view or edit or view folder. Then other settings, other settings. So owners, the name of the people who viewed their files in the OneDrive. Let's site owner choose a display the name of the people who viewed the files and the sharepoint and other settings are there so from here you can control the sharing in the sharepoint for the access controls you have this unmanaged devices so restrict access from devices that aren't compliant or joined to your domain so if you want 
only those laptops, computers, or mobiles which is joined to a particular domain could access to those files and folders. You can manage it from here. Get enterprise. So I this settings is not enabled in me. So if some if it is enabled in your, uh, you will be able to do it. Idle timer. If you can mention the timeout sessions. So somebody, if you want assign. If no activity is done, if you want a user to sign out in one hour, 15 minutes, five minutes, this setting you can do from there, from here. It's very self-explanatory. Automatically sign out users from inactivity browser. So if user is not interacting with the browser, he will be signed out after that many hours, minutes, seconds, whatever you mention. Then allow access only from a specific addresses. Now if you allow, you can mention the range and the IPs then that only this is the network setting from then only it will be allowed otherwise it will not be allowed then apps that don't use the modern authentication so if you want only those apps to access the site which is in, which has implemented the modern auth authentication then you can enable it from here or otherwise you can disable it you can allow also or block also so these settings you can implement from here uh, this is the SharePoint admin center. Similarly, the similar settings are there in the OneDrive admin center also. So if you go to the OneDrive admin center, it will it will redirect you to uh, admin.onedrive.com. And from here, you can um, control the syncing, storage, device, compliance, etc. Sharing, it's very similar to that. So anyone with the link internal, only people with the organization, direct specific and this SharePoint and advanced setting, it's very similar to the one link must expire within the number of days files views so these all we have already covered in the sharepoint part so this is very similar syncing is one thing which is unique to it so use these settings to control the syncing of the files in onedrive and sharepoint uh, show the sync button on the onedrive website allow syncing only pc joints if you want only a specific uh, PCs which are joined to the domains uh, that should be allowed so that you can check it block syncing for a specific file type if you think that these file types like doc or PDF any other specific extensions you want to uh, block you can block it from here block syncing of specific files and enter each file extension in a new line so you have to maintain doc and then enter and then other file extensions so you'll not be able to uh, download the sync client if you disable it from here then the device access similar to that allow access only from ip addresses uh, it's very similar to sharepoint one and then allow access from the apps that don't use modern authentication this also we have uh, covered similar with the sharepoint now these settings are disabled these are generally mobile application management settings it's disabled by default on me uh, if your organization has enabled, you can control it from here. So block downloading, block, block copying files from content within files and this. So this is the OneDrive settings and uh, this is the SharePoint. So in this way, you can control the sharing and access control and security in SharePoint online and OneDrive for business. If you have any queries, please do post in the comment section below. I'll try to answer those questions. And thank you so much for watching. And please do like, share and subscribe the channel. I highly appreciate it. Thank you so much.